there, Mark here from The Body Mechanic, uh, just going to show you how to safely use a foam roller. Uh, so your foam roller options, you can get short ones like this which are good for travelling with, um, but I think that um, the best option is one of the 90 centimetre ones. So they're 90 centimetres long and 16 uh, or 6 inches in diameter, I think it's 15 centimetres. Uh, the reason for getting long ones, you can actually ultimately use them for doing some things on your back as well, but today what we're going to do is show you how to use the foam roller on your ITV um, and also on the calf muscles. So they're two of the, uh, the areas that we commonly recommend for both cyclists and runners. So your ITB is this white fibrous structure that rolls from your glute muscles. So this is gluteus maximus and here is one of your hip flexor muscles called the TFL. The ITB comes down the outside of your leg and attaches into all those structures through the lateral side of your knee. So what we're actually trying to do with the foam roller is to massage this, this band, but also massage into those quadriceps muscles. So uh, that this one here especially, which is called vastus lateralis, so it's the outside of your thigh. So we want to, with the foam roller, massage a combination of this muscle and that ITB. What we want to do is stay away from the knee, so don't go over this part where you're likely to irritate the bones. And also we want to stay away from this part in here, which is the hip, which if you have a look, that's the outside of the hip bone just there. So if we put the ITB back on, if you rub over that part of the ITB where you can feel that hip bone on the outside of your leg, it's going to stir things up rather than help. Uh, the idea is, like we've already discussed, stay away from your hip and stay away from your knee. Uh, so you lie down with your elbow on the floor. And if, yeah, if you can, you can have either both feet up in the air or you can put one foot just to provide a little bit of uh, stability and take some weight off the ITB. And the idea is to roll up and down on that band, staying away from the hip and the knee. And um, if you find a particularly sore spot, then that's a good spot to actually roll up and down of. The idea is just to gradually work through those lumpy parts of the, of the ITB until it starts feeling a bit more comfortable. You can also go on an angle a bit more onto your front as I am here, so that you get onto those quad muscles as well. And aim for about anywhere between two and three minutes of that, and two or three times a week is usually plenty to, to help. Okay, so here we are going to show you what to do with your calf muscles. So here's one of your calves. Um, it's split into two main muscles. So this is your gastrocnemius, which has an, an inside part and an outside part. And then underneath there is another muscle called soleus. Uh, both of those muscles come down and form into the Achilles tendon, which attaches into the back of the heel. With the foam roller, what we're trying to do is massage through that, the red part here, so the muscular part of that, and onto the start of the tendon, or the muscular tendon this junction, but don't go right down over the, the really cord bit of the Achilles tendon. So don't go too low over the heel. Stick between the, from the muscular part here, and about halfway down that tendon. Don't go up behind the knee either. You'll hit some pretty uh, bony and sensitive structures in the back of the knee, so make sure you stay on the muscle. Uh, so, foam rolling your calf muscles. Just put one leg on top, one leg crossed over the other so you can actually apply a little bit of weight down through it and rolling forwards and backwards. You get the additional bonus of a little bit of a core workout at the same time, works your tummy muscles, but rolling up and down. Stay away from the heel or the Achilles tendon and don't go right up underneath the actual knee. Uh, it's just on that fleshy bit of the calf muscle in between and a good spot to get is slightly on the outside. So if you rotate your leg onto a bit of an angle and roll up and down so you get the outside of that calf muscle, the lateral head of the gastroc it's called. And then obviously, same with the other side. And again, aim for anywhere between one and two minutes and two to three times a week is, is good.